Good morning, all, and welcome to The Good Witch. This is your midweek motivation, and I am again saying thank you for joining me. Thank you for being a part of my world and allowing me to be a part of yours. Um, you know, about once a week, I come on and we have a discussion. It's not a long discussion. Remember to like share subscribe and comment in love so thus far this is week what three or four and we have learned to take a moment or 15 moments minimum per day for ourselves regardless of whatever else is going on in the world to sit and be still we have learned that perfection is in our imaginations. That once we give up the idea of perfection, perfection we become. We've learned that we have to learn to breathe differently, although we haven't gone in depth into it. We've talked about the nature of God and who God is and what God is. And we've decided that we will dig deeper into that. What else have we done? We've decided that we would look in the mirror every day and smile at least 60 seconds just at ourselves with no additives. 15 minutes of quiet, even if the world is going crazy. 60 seconds of smiling at no one but you with nothing added to you. Nothing subtracted from you. Just you. And being grateful for all that you are. So, today, we are going to talk about permissions. And again, remember to hit the thumbs up button and the notification bell button when you subscribe. Today, we're talking about permissions. You're not, everybody's not going to like this, but it's true. Most of the things, not all, but most of the things that happen in our lives happen because we gave it permission to. We gave it permission to. So instead of going into the negative aspect of that, which we will, we're going to go into the positive aspect of that today. And I'm going to ask you to give some permissions. I'm going to ask you to give people permission to love you. We often make excuses why people cannot love us. Why we are so unworthy of the feeling or act of love being shown by someone else. We... People tell us they love us and we say, no, no, you don't. You can't possibly love me because of X, Y, and Z. You don't love me because you don't behave this way. You don't love me because you didn't do the thing that I asked you to do. You don't love me because you don't really like the way my hair looks. Or you don't love me because I'm not the right complexion. Whatever the reason is that you've given people why they can't love you. Instead of telling people how to love you. Just give them permission to love you and understand what love is. Love is not, love liberates, says Maya Angelou. Love is not binding. Love does not mean you behave a certain way that I want you to. Now there's relationships that demand that, but love does not. If someone says they love you, say okay, thank you. You don't, you're not forced to love or feel any other type of way. But don't disallow love in your life as much positivity as you can have, except. So allow people to love you. And in that same regard, allow people to leave. They can love you and they can leave. Just like you can leave. And you can love. You don't have to 
be near me to love me. I love the majority of you. Some of you I've never met. But I allow myself to be loved. I actually have a tattoo that says it. I allow myself to be loved because why not? Why be anything else? Most things operate in love and fear or love or fear. So allow yourself to be loved and be loved even if you're afraid. Understanding that love requires nothing from you but acceptance. Reciprocation is optional. So allow people to love you. That's your allowance for this week. You're going to allow people to love you. And you're going to allow people to leave. You're going to give them permission to leave. If something that you do makes them unhappy or uncertain or feel any sort of negative emotion and it's not an activity that you're willing to change and you don't feel any hard feelings for them, but allow them to leave. Let them know it's okay for you to go. I don't hold you, I hold no ill will. It's okay for you to go, but you have to truly mean it. You can't expect someone to stay in a situation where they're not happy, but people do it all the time. We stay out of obligation. We stay in situations out of fear. We stay in situations out of selfishness or selflessness. It can go either way. We stay for many reasons. And that's not just you. That's the people surrounding you. So give the people surrounding you permission to love you, A, and to leave, too. Because you'll be a better you with more people that love you, that are allowed to love you, and without people that harness negative energy because they're not happy when you're around. Even if they do love you, they can love you from over there. Okay? Peace, love, and light from the Good Witch. Remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment in love. And I will see you next week for our midweek motivation.